If you're interested in investing in real estate, flipping houses, or you just like watching homes turn into something better, uh, stick around. This is part two of my fix and flip series uh, where we're going through one of the flips that I'm doing. Uh, personally, it's one that I'm working on right now. Um, so stick around. I'm going to go through part two where we're going through some of the rehab that we're getting done. Um, and yeah, if you have questions, feel free to reach out. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is John Cummings. I'm with Better Homes and Gardens Cast on Realty. Um, my hope for this channel is just to provide you with any information that you uh, would need to, you know, help you with your real estate decisions, whether it's real estate invest investing, fix and flips, uh, you know, rentals, uh, neighborhood information, anything that is related to your real estate needs. Uh, I hope that I could help you out with. Um, today, again, this is part two of my flip, fix and flip series on a flip that I'm doing personally, and I'm in the property right now. Um, right now I'm in the kitchen, and you know, if you watch the first part of my, my series, uh, you would know that uh, we're in a 1958 um, built home. This was the kitchen, but it was all back in the 50s. Um, we you know, completely gutted it at this point. Um, but it was all back in the 50s, uh, all the original cabinetry, um, original sink, original everything. Uh, one owner for this, I got this property via a short sale. Again, if you want to know how I got that property, how the deal all played out, watch the first part of the video. It has a lot of good information. Um, we did have a wall here as well. This is all enclosed. And we had our walkway here, which again, we knocked this all out. We you know, took out all the cabinets, um, all the sinks, uh, the stove, everything, um, and it's, it's ready to kind of be put back together at this point. We're also going to you know, be kind of leveling this floor off a little bit. There's a, you know, a little bump here that we're going to have to level off, and um, you know that'll that'll be part of this as well. But you know, overall, the flip the, so far the flip is going you know as planned. We're on track. One thing actually that. Um, I didn't show in the first video is in the garage to go through is how much stuff was actually in this house you know it's kind of one of those things you don't know, but this entire garage was full it's like to the ceiling with stuff like mattresses boxes bags just stuff you know stuff that this this woman had accumulated uh, over the course of her life and um you know it was all in this garage. We took it from the house. Uh, we had an individual clean out the house. We put it in here, and uh, we basically filled, I think, three dumpsters full at this point. So a lot of stuff in this house. Uh, we ripped, you know, ripped these stairs out that were here. Here's one of the, our dumpsters right now. But yeah, there was a lot of stuff in this house. It's pretty chilly in here right now, actually. Um, it's one of the things that we kind of ran into that we were hoping to avoid. Is it, it got you know, pretty chilly here in Pennsylvania in the uh, past few weeks. So um, now we're kind of thinking about adding some oil to this was originally oil heat. So you can see the baseboards are still here. They're still functional. Um, the boiler is actually in, in decent shape. We're gonna have somebody come out and do a tune up and just make sure it's worth saving. Um, I believe it is, but we'll see. Um, and if it is, we're going to add, add a little bit of oil to it just to make sure the pipes don't freeze. Um, and just get a little warmer in here because it's pretty chilly out. It's in you know, the low 30s right now outside. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, we knocked out this wall. Haven't done anything with the floors yet. Again, we're going to do all the the uh, the walls and all the cabinets and everything first. Then we're going to eventually sand this floor, refinish it. If you recall from the first video, or if you haven't seen this, this was originally a closet. This was enclosed. On the other side of that closet, there was, this was originally a wall. On the other side of the closet is the bathroom, which is now completely gutted, as you can see. And we got everything out except for the tub at this point. The floor is all ripped up, everything is ripped up. But this was the closet. And what we decided to do was turn this into a half bath. We're gonna put like a pedestal sink and a toilet. Uh, it's gonna be a nice little addition to this, to this home. It's a, it's a one bathroom right now. So this will make it one and a half. And it's just kind of convenient. 
I actually wish that we had this in our house. It's similar setup and it's, it's actually, you know, pretty nice to have that little, that toilet sink area. Um, again, it's just nice to have. Uh, but like I said, completely gutted at this point. We're gonna be taking the sub out. We're gonna be you know, putting all the walls up, new cabinets, new vanity, new toilet, new sink, uh, the works, and that will be completed in, in the coming weeks. We haven't done anything yet with the rooms, all still intact as they were. Nothing has changed in that regards. All we really did was take off the doors, the interior doors, which are all sitting right here. And we're gonna be replacing all the interior doors or all the trims off as well. So that's one thing that we did so far, we took off all the trim. Some of the baseboards are still you know, here. Uh, we took off all the, you know, the outlet covers and everything. We're gonna be new outlets, new covers, uh, just updating all that. But like I said, the rooms are basically still intact for the most part. Um, the main work is in the kitchen and the bathroom, but we will be getting to some of the smaller stuff soon. Um, and then again, floor is probably one of the last things that we're gonna do. We're gonna be getting tile in the bathroom soon. Uh, the bathroom's gonna be getting put together pretty soon. That'll probably be the next thing that gets finished. Um, one other thing to mention is, we put this, this tape on the floor right here. We were debating, about having a uh, an island here, a kitchen island, because we knocked this wall out and it created a big open area. But you know, we wanted to put an island in here, but it's kind of tight, right? It's a little tight, so we wanted to tape it off just to kind of see what the walkway situation would be like. So we kind of have to walk around, and we have ultimately decided that we're going to put this little island in. I'm curious to see how it all works out when it's all done. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, if you think the island will work there or not, but I think it'll be a nice little addition as well. Um, and then the other issue we're coming up is with the fridge. So we want to put the fridge here and that's what we're going to end up doing in the cabinets. But in order to you know, open and close the door, it really cuts off the basement door. And the way this house is set up, it's all these homes are just the same. Uh, in this neighborhood and it's it's the same thing there's no really great place to put the fridge because it always somehow blocks this door to the basement um, which is unfortunate but we wanted to keep it as open as possible and with this island here it makes the most sense to put the fridge here so that's what we're going to do um, and we think it'll be nice but uh like i said if, if what let me know what you think in the comments um but yeah that's part two of the flip and you know, keep feel free to keep uh, watching the channel, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and you will get all the information first um, about this flip, any other flips, or any other information in the Lehigh Valley. Um, if you want to keep watching this series, I will continue to update as we progress. Um, so stick around, and you'll get to see the finished product with us. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out, leave comments. All my information is in the description below. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you around the neighborhood.